For the last step of our project, we're going to use PowerView to create a visualization dashboard of our data. To do this, we're going to click the PowerView tab that we created in our prior step and click PowerView to load the PowerView admin. Once the PowerView add-in is activated, you'll see you have a blank canvas. Now this blank canvas is actually fairly similar to a pivot table in the fact that you have the ability to add specific fields, and then you have the ability to add specific filters. The difference is, with PowerView, these fields that you add create something called visualization. There is no limit to the number of visualizations you can have inside this canvas, uh, and they have the ability to be filtered and will automatically update as the data that are driving them is updated as well. So the first step in creating our dashboard is the visualization that covers the operators and the amount of pledge dollars that they raise. That information is maintained in the transactions database that we imported in the prior step. We're going to click the down arrow next on the PowerView fields column right here. And we're going to grab our operator ID and simply drag it to the upper left hand corner and release. Now when we do this, once the data loads, you'll see that we have a problem. The problem is, by, by default, PowerView wanted to take those operator IDs, the, the individual identification numbers of each person that gained a pledge amount, and sum those up. So basically, it treated them like dollars instead of just generic numbers. That's something that we can fix. So we're going to go over to our PowerView Fields menu here. And under or next to Operator ID, we're going to click the drop down menu and click Do Not Summarize. And when we do, there's our individual numbers. But we're still not quite there yet. We're not quite perfect because now it still looks like it's currency. However, if I were to go back to my pledge dollars tab and look at my operator ID, they're just numbers. So we're going to click back into this power view, click inside the visualization, click design, and we're going to switch it to general. Now we're looking good. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is add the corresponding, the corresponding pledge amounts that match up with each operator and how much they've earned. So we're going to grab that, we're going to drag it to the left, and drop it inside the visualization that we just created. And now we have it. So we'll stretch this out a little bit, stretch this out a little bit here, and we're looking pretty good. Now, the next visualization you want to create is something very similar to this, except you want to create a pie chart to show each specific operator ID and how that compares to the whole. So we're going to start off very similar to what we did originally by adding the operator ID into a new visualization. So to do that, you simply grab that operator ID field and let's drop it more on the right hand side of the canvas. Now, once that happened, we had the same issue. It automatically summarized all of the numbers. We know now that we can fix that by clicking the down arrow next to the operator ID field and selecting Do Not Summarize. Okay. Our next step will be to grab the pledge amount, drag it over to the visualization we just created, and let it go to add that field. Here's the step that we're doing that's different. Now, in the Design tab of the ribbon, you'll see a group of tools called Switch Visualizations. By default, the visualization will be a table, but we can click that visualization Click the other chart and create a pie chart instead. And there you have it. Now the pie chart's a little small, so we can make this look a little bit better by stretching it out a little bit. We've got some space. Maybe drag it down a little bit. Stretch that out a little bit more. And now we've got our second visualization. So for our third visualization, we're going to compare the pledge amount, um, excuse me, 
the pledge amount dollars to the transaction ID.